Yes, that's correct. And also that she mentioned uh, the hotel. My mother and I also went to a hotel after we were illegally evicted by the owners of the Meadowlark Minor Trailer Community um, in Lima, New York, um, who are illegal aliens mafia members who are receiving government benefits, claiming that they are poor when, they, when in reality they have a lot of money. But they uh, falsify documents uh, in, uh, in order to get um, the taxpayers' money in, uh, in the form of government benefits, <coughs> and that's fraud, as you can uh, you know as you can tell. Uh, when you go to a hotel, chances are that they will contact the hotel manager, and they will have people going into your room when, whenever you leave. Uh, they would take showers there because they did that to, to my mother and myself. I used to come back after looking for an apartment and find my um, slippers uh, wet, soaked and wet, uh, and I don't, I don't shower with them. Uh, I just use them to walk. 
and uh, then we figured uh, that somebody was going into our room because we would find other things like things that were out of place uh, and the uh, um, bed was not made in a hotel. They are supposed to make your bed every day, every time you go out. Uh, so when we realized uh, what was we realized what was going on, the hotel manager used to tell the the, the Department of DSS criminals uh, who work there as government employees. Every time we used to go out, they used to send their people to search our things and take you know whatever they uh, liked and uh, other other do other things like. Uh, try to see um, how they could get in at night because every day, almost every day that we were there, and we were there for a month and about two weeks, um, they tried to get into the uh, hotel room to kill us because of my research about the illegal alias mafia, and uh, they're uh, petitioning me, uh, they're requesting uh, that I stop my research and not publicize what they're doing. Uh, so the citizens can know. Um, since I refused to stop my research, they have tried to assassinate me. And uh, what the manager used to do, he used to close, he put, he changed from one room uh, where when we first came in to another room, uh, and he used to close uh, the door of the hallway. So when they used to smoke uh, and, uh, because the DSS department has my mother's a medical file. They have access to that file. They used to tell them that my mother had uh, lung cancer. They used to smoke. They used to close the door so all the smoke would go into the room and my mother would start um, uh, coughing uh, very badly. And they used to stand uh, in the other side of the door and smoke marijuana, smoke cigarette, and uh, you name it. They would smoke it at night, like at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then we used to um, hear the door at night going like this. They were trying to open the door, but uh, we put a lock in the other side of the door that they could not break. Uh, so when they uh, used to try to come in to assassinate us uh, in the middle of the night, one, two, three o'clock in the morning, they couldn't, and we would hear that. So you can imagine the terror and the um, uh, fear that we were feeling and uh, knowing that nobody will help us because the um, people in power who were, who were chosen by uh, us as a citizen were illegal alien mafia members who uh, would not move a finger uh, to help the citizens in order to get the piece of pie. So when you go to a hotel, you have to be very careful in regards to your computer the only reason they can keep your computer is if you have child pornography or if you have, uh, you know, a, a, like a, an account uh, showing that you're dealing drugs, that you are getting, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars because you're dealing drugs or so, something illegal. Uh, if you were not doing anything illegal like that, um, they will not, they, they, didn't, they would not have the power to confiscate your computer. Uh, and I think that the, um, the, uh, they're keeping your computer is just for, for more gains, for more financial, financial gains because uh, they will sell it. Uh, you know, if, if it costs you, say, $200, they will sell it for $50, and they would use, use it to get drunk or uh, to get drugs or, or uh, something else because these people, uh, they make a lot of money, but their lives are very miserable, they, they're very horrible, and they are people who are um, uh, damaged, quote-unquote. Uh, you know, they were raised in foster care, they were abused. They like, the illegal alien mafia um, likes people who were abused, who uh, have psychopathic tendencies, who, uh, who would go and kill somebody upon request if they say, you know, this person is reporting our, our, our uh, organization, go and kill it. Uh, they like people who were raised in an abusive home, who, would, who, would, who hate other people, uh, and they would go and kill that person. That's how they like. And most illegal alien mafia members are like that. They are psychopaths. They are um, people with no regards for um, the uh, pain of somebody else. 
and they don't feel uh, that they um, have to help anybody uh, out of the, the goodness of their heart. Uh, so, and many of them, uh, by the way, don't believe in God. Yes. Exactly. Exactly, because they make a lot of money um, uh, selling your identity to other people. So if you don't exist to claim your identity or to report uh, the criminal behavior of these government employees, that's not a problem because the illegal aliens that uh, have your identities or the illegal aliens mafia members that have your identities, um, they, they will uh, be uh, comfortable because they know nobody will... Uh, um, question them about uh, having somebody else's identity and getting somebody else's government benefits or being involved in the trafficking of government benefits and citizens' identities, which is, uh, you know, which are serious charges and uh, felonies. So uh, if you are dead, the better, you know, the more, the more dead uh, American citizens, the better. Professor Martinez, every time I hear the word doctor, I remember my mother being abused at the different hospitals, <laughs> and, and my my hair in the back stands up. <laughs> Exactly.
Yes, I am in upstate New York, uh, and um, we came here to escape the assassin assassins sent by Kevin McGuire, uh, and we drove uh, eight hours from um, Yonkers, New York, uh, all the way to Lima, uh, New York. So, so the eight hours that we were driving here, we had illegal aliens mafia members driving behind us and following us. Uh, to see where we would go because the illegal aliens mafia cannot uh, lose you from sight because if they're stealing and selling your government benefits, they have to know where you are so they can contact the people there and tell them to do the same thing so you don't get the benefits and you don't get uh, uh, any a, a penny to um, uh, live your life. And by uh, and you know in in short time you will be homeless and you will have no medication and you will die. Yes, from getting to the doctor or getting any benefits. In my case, in my mother's case, uh, in my in my case, they are they called the uh, the Westchester County uh, Commissioner Kevin McGuire called the commissioner in uh, Livingston County, Diane Dane, and told, uh, told her not to give any government benefits to her and to continue to sell it because he would keep the cases open in New York, in uh, Westchester County um, and uh, continue to sell her government benefits and her social security numbers and identity to illegals and illegal alliance mafia members there, and uh, he would do the same with mine. So uh, if we don't have right now, like my mother is very ill and I cannot take her to the doctor because she doesn't have her New York State trade Medicaid, she has a medical insurance given to her uh, by Kevin McGuire um, and supervisees uh, through the forgery of her signature. They, um, she filled out the application for her Medicaid, her New York State trade Medicaid. Uh, in the on the application, there is a box that says if you want to um, apply for Medicare Part B, uh, you can check this box. So what they do is they check the uh, documents uh, without the citizen's knowledge or consent, and they um, submit the application with your signature. And then they continue to submit the application to different um, government programs and sign your signature that you don't know about. So that application for her Medicaid, she knows about, but she knows that she didn't apply for Medicaid, but they applied for Medicaid, uh, I mean, she didn't apply for um, Medicare Part B as in boy, uh, uh, a medical insurance that doesn't cover her um, medical uh, problems and her uh, medications that she needs to have. So uh, she cannot go to a doctor, she cannot get the medication that she, she needs, so she will die. Oh, it's very simple. Yes, the 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 uh, Medicare Part B uh, for boy is a medical insurance that you can use when you go to a doctor, and you have to pay a copayment. In my mother's case, to see uh, a neurologist for a, her epilepsy, she has to pay about five hundred dollars if she if she is in Medicare. While uh, the uh, illegal aliens uh, that uh, that were sold her New York State trade Medicaid are covered 100%. When they go to a neurologist or uh, any other doctor, they don't have to pay a copayment. They have to pay zero because my mother's um, medical insurance, her New York State trade Medicaid, is for people who are chronically ill and covers all the medications and all the doctors uh, with the areas of er expertise. At Medicare Part D, as in David, is for uh, prescription drugs. So in reality, the Medicare Part D, as in David, uh, is a card that you get and you go to the pharmacy and uh, with a prescription, and they will cover um, the uh, prescription. Um, in the in my mother's case, is uh, AARP that is being uh, connected to her Medicare Part D, as in boy, and that's how she gets prescription. But the problem with with that is. Since she doesn't have her New York State trade Medicaid because it was sold to illegals, 
uh, for them to get a free medical care. Uh, she has to pay three times what she needs to pay for her medication when she has her uh, own uh, um, health care uh, benefits, which is New York State Great Medicaid. So she would pay $1.10 and uh, 20 cents for a generic medication with her New York State Great Medicaid. But she now not needs to pay three dollars. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, about three dollars, two uh, ninety-five, I think, uh, for the same medication. That's why they want the Medicaid, because that's a bigger curve. Exactly. It's just a bigger curve in different ways, right? Medicaid covers everything. Medical. Yes, exactly. Uh, no, I haven't contacted him, but if you can make a call, my mother needs to uh, see a doctor, like, right away, and uh, she needs medical care. But the problem is that they will ask her uh, for her medical insurance, and we would say that uh, she has no insurance because, in reality, she doesn't. She has a fraudulent medical insurance, which she never signed up for, and if she says that she has that insurance, then uh, she would be committing fraud because she never signed up for it and she knows that it's a fraudulent oh, insurance. So they would have to uh, see her at, uh, at the uh, doctor's office and send her the bill so she can submit that bill to the Department of Social Services and the Department of Social Services is then obliged to process the bill and pay the bill with the taxpayer's money, uh, of course. Yes. So what happens is it's another option for care. So you guys are submitting the bill to the county? Yes. For yes, uh, because oh my God. Um, when. So basically, indig indigent care. Exactly. I've done that myself before. And the problem so is that. The problem with that is that every time she or any citizens. Uh, who are the victims of the illegal aliens mafia uh, and their medical insurance were sold to illegals in our country so the illegals can get free health care. Um, they, uh, they put her in uh, uh, charity care, so they charge charity care. Uh, they steal the people who donate money, uh, basically, um, because she has her own insurance, but okay. it, it is being sold. They charge Medicare Part B, for which she, she never signed up for, uh, so it's a fraudulent insurance. They also char charge uh, Health uh, First and Health Plus to um, a health plans that she never signed up for, and they continue to make a lot of money even when she doesn't go to the doctor because she can't, uh, and she goes to a, a, a hospital when uh, they used to take care of her. Now that she's, uh, you know, before she was, she was not, uh, she wasn't, uh, before she was blacklisted. They they um, got a lot of money uh, that way, you know, through charity care, health plus, health first, and Medicare. So every time you move, how you guys have made the differentiation, Lauren and yourself, um, between how the perks get what they get, okay? Through the, they're on the other side of the county of it, right? That they're getting a free housing, they're getting or they're paying. Yes. The perps are getting a free apartment. Here they're getting other things. They're being paid by the city council who are running the whole operation and the county supervisor board. They're giving them all kinds of uh, perks and stuff, and then they're coming out of jail or prison, and they get 
get into these programs and get a free apartment and everything. So that's how they're keeping like the war on terror going. But it was more specific what you're saying about the illegals getting the insurance, like the, the federal insurance and stuff. Right. It's like a big fraud all the way around. All the way around. Exactly. So if you can make if you can make a call for my mother, I will appreciate it. Uh, you can contact me. You have my phone number. It's, uh, I, I post it, but I'll give it to you. It's 914-619-8362. One moment. One, one moment, please. Hold on a second. I'm so sorry. That's okay. No problem. That's okay. It's at 914-619-8362. And sometimes you know that they illegally intersect uh, our phones as well because okay. they work on uh, in the courts as judicial employees and they have the, the, the connections and the powers to uh, uh, track you down by GPS or to illegally intersect your phone or to or to block you when they're using a caller ID loop. So if you need uh, to contact me through uh, Facebook, if you tried my, my cell phone that I just gave you, if you need to contact okay. me through Facebook, this is my Facebook um, address. It's www.facebook.com forward slash um, and then my name, uh, Solange, es as in Sam, O as in Orlando, L as in Love, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, G as in George, E as in Edward, Dad, Martinez, M as in Mary, A as in Apple, R as in Raymond, T as in Tom, I as in India, N as in Nancy, E as in Edward, Z as in Zebra, Dad, five eight one seven. And I'll repeat it for you. It's www. Okay, I got it. I got it. And you got I it? Wanted, uh, what's the number one house? Just really quick, Lauren. What's the number one house that she that she needs help with? The number one oh, thing that she needs. Yeah, the number one thing is she needs urgent care. She needs uh, medication, and she needs uh, to see a doctor at any uh, a ER hospital, I mean, hospital of ER that uh, will not uh, try to assassinate her by the order of the illegal alias mafia or try to um, beat her up, like in one of the hospitals that I took her in um, Northern um, Westchester Hospital in Mount Kisco that one of the uh, a, a nurses got on top of her. She has multiple sclerosis and uh, osteoporosis, so her bones are brittle, and being elderly, this nurse got uh, on top of her because she refused to walk around her bed and was trying to get blood from her other uh, arm and almost broke uh, her, her bones, her, her ribs. Uh, so if you, you if you know of any if you know somebody who can send her to a hospital like this uh, governor that you mentioned um, can send her to a hospital and she will not be abused I would really appreciate it because she really needs uh, help and uh, right now she has um, uh, one of her legs because she has problems with her circ circulation is swollen her stomach is hurting because she has pancreatic problems uh, because she has she hasn't seen a doctor in about six or, or five years, and um, she ha she's supposed to see a doctor two or three times per month because she's chronically ill, and she also has uh, severe migraine headaches, and we don't have medication for that because the ER um, doctors um, they are refusing to to give her her migraine headaches me medication, which is Imetrex, uh, as per the illegal alien mafia order and uh, she needs her epilepsy medication because if she doesn't take it, she will get a brain hemorrhage and she will die. I, I want to ask Lauren, because our calls, um, Ms. Blanche, if you could make it to, or, or, or someone suggest what natural herbs, I don't know if you're using natural uh, uh, treatment for her to, to alleviate some of the pain right away, you know, like tea by mouth, tea compress, green tea, uh, uh, there's another kind of tea, um, maybe uh, Lauren, I can just send you 
the problem with that is the social the social workers that she has seen during the last 17 years have all gotten uh, gotten her information, her social security number, and her um, uh, name and information, and they have not helped uh, helped her in any way, shape, or okay, form. This is a different type of social worker to watch. Oh. This is a federal social worker. This is somebody who can, um, if they're working through any kind of county agency, or local agency, they can do an investigation um, on a federal level. Okay, which is over the top of all of those people that you're dealing with. Well, I'm willing to try anything at this point. They, they can run an investigation on the Social Security Office, where the Medicare is coming out of, in your local neighborhood. Okay? Okay, good. So that's what you can do. I'm sorry, so they give you a contact first to make contact with this federal social worker. You can call your office you office. call your congressperson's office. They say hello. You say, may I speak with the federal social worker on staff? That's as easy as pie? Yes. Yes. They, that they need to route you over. Get the person on the phone. That's what you ask very nicely. I need to speak with the federal social worker, and at the same time, I would like to begin an investigation upon this agency or that agency, especially federal agencies. And Social Security is a good one. If, if you think that they're being inappropriate, because out here we have a lot of foreigners that work in the Social Security building, and my, my godmom in Washington State is saying the same thing, so obviously these medical mafia people are trying to get all up in those offices, right? Exactly. From the local office all the way to the federal agencies. 